Oh, it's so small. Now even the pop-up toy is bigger than the Estivale. Estivale stand at 4.6 inches and we we'll raise that at 6.1 inches. Hi, welcome to Air Watson. On this video, we have two videos from Martin Cesar Nadesco, an anime from the late 90s. On this side, we have the Mecca, the ST Valleys from Gold Smart Company, but the model or the model kit set. And on this side, I have a pop up play of Luluri Hoshino, one of the main characters from the anime. Alright, let's unbox. Let's start with the ST Valley. Take out the package. Instruction booklet, very important for the build. All the parts, great that it's colored, make it easier to find. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. So cool that it's in color. Let's start the build. Cut out B2, snip the edge, and snip the other edge. Fast forward, step 10. Connect the lower torso to the upper torso, then head to torso. Step 36, arms are done, minus the hands. Step 50, legs are done. Step 55, put the body together. Attach the left arm to the torso, might need to wiggle it in a bit, and then the right arm, also some wiggling. Now onto the left leg, flicks in. Oops, the antenna fell off. We just have to glue that one on, and the right leg, click in. Really, really. Quite a fair bit simpler to unpack. Take out the package, looking so good. Cut the tapes. Remove the distal pack lid. Remove the plastic from the base. Take out Wooly really, Wooly. Really. There's plastic on the right leg, slide it off. And then plastic around her abdomen, unwrap it. Put away from packaging. Legs to base, three pegs. It's a valley and Wooly really, really. Hoshino good smile figures. Ah, oh, it says more. Now even the pop-up toy is bigger than the Estivale. Estivale stand at 4.6 inches and will raise that at 6.1 inches. Small for a pop-up toy but good for the scale. Oh, just break the antenna on the Estivale. Alright, let's have a quick look at the mechanics. Awesome shape. I like the addition of colours to the eyes and mouth. I think it's a good shape. But overall flat finish on all the plastic. The rest of the body looks equally in great shape and form with the iconic giant shins. I particularly like the mechanics of the legs with all the different points of articulation. The back look equally as impressive, especially with the jet burner parts in black. Shame on me for the gaps in all over the place. I did the treads on the back of the heel, where Latin sides made up for the accessories, and the Javian Lizard robot it comes with its own accessories. Stand at 1.1 inches, we wear a plain finish, but the shape's all there. It just feels so fragile that the parts will snap. Just have to push them in into one direction. In flight mode, stand at 1.2 inches. I think I prefer the flat mode version, it just looks so much cooler and gives it more presence. Let's show over some of the accessories for the Estee Valley, armed with that knife, armed with a soft rifle, and you can really see how articulation of the figure. Punching with a knuckle cover. My personal favourite is Rocket Punch, not a true mecha anime without this trope. You also take off the chest plate and take out the cockpit. Remove the head, swing the jet around and extend the claws. Aha, a spacecraft. Similar size to the Jeffrey Lizards. Here are the poses of Deda, what's her favourite accessory? Onto really, really, really nice blue, shiny red, and the hair tie. Big eyes and blush marks on the cheek. This kind of over the movement of the hair. We have a clean knockout logo on the vest, with the dial pad on the side, with a nice red orb. Then the adjusted logo on the left sleeve, considering how small it is, it's so finely added. Semi metallic finish to the boots, looks to be similar blue to the hair. Small plain white base. From the back, you can see more of the hair ties, and then very really pose with her arm behind her back. If you have been enjoying the video, please leave a like. And there we have the Marsen Successor and Deska Gutsman Company figures. I'm really surprised at how small the Avidesta model kit is. But I guess it makes up for it by having the different configuration and all the different accessories. But still, the size. And in terms of how long it took to build, it would be nice to have a larger version or option. So this is a browse slash buy for now. While for the Luri Luri, Papa Poet, excellent details as, as always. That's a bit better than price figures. Love all the little details and the uh, finish on the figure. Really nice finish on the hair and the pose. So this is a buy. Have to go to Akito and Yuliko as well. Otherwise Luri Luri is every by herself. If you'd like to see more 90s anime figures unboxing, please go over here. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye.